Oh, it's a handle for a pocket door. Handle for a pocket door. I think. Don't know what a pocket door is. Well, no, it wouldn't be a handle for a pocket door. JK. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we got another Amazon coffin for you. It's Tuesday, it's time for another coffin as long as we have them of course. If we don't have them that's why they're not up on Tuesdays. Uh, but we got this next one for you. We're going to dive right into it. Uh, as Sarah cuts it open I'll give you a brief uh, understanding of what this is. If you haven't been here before, Amazon coffins are 2 by 2 by 3 ish boxes full of Amazon returns. And what we do is we buy it for a flat rate without knowing what's inside and then try to sell everything. Uh, here on the channel you get to see our first reactions to everything uh, and you can react along with us. You can type it in the comments, comments I should say, and let us know what you think about the stuff inside here. Um, so Sarah just cut it open. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, I'll kick it off here. We got a book. It says the Cursive Handwriting Workbook. Let's do see. they even teach that in school anymore? I don't think they do. Well. Which is why you need the workbook to teach your kids at home. Yeah, it looks like it hasn't been touched. So uh, just by flipping through it really quick, doesn't look like they've been used. Uh, this is a Dymo Label Writer 550. I use one of these at my day job. They are super nice, so I'm hoping this thing works um, because it's just a nice label maker. It says Beano Ultra 800, 100 tablets. Um, gas preventing power. All right. We got some brake shoes. We all know how much we love brake shoes. I'm curious to see if they're actually new or not. I'm gonna take a peek. Yeah, uh, there's something in here that you're gonna like. Should I grab it? Yeah! Don't look, don't peek. Okay, I'm trying to open these brick pits. Oh, I'm pulling up the wrong side. Look it. Ooh! An original mouse trip. Nice. Remember playing that game when I was a kid? Oh, gee. It's not the new version. That's awesome. So if you don't know what Mousetrap is, it's all about making a big old thing here and then uh, seeing all these random things happen and then you catch a mouse. Loved playing that game. Although I don't think I ever actually played it correctly. Whoa. So Sarah's. Oh, okay. Yeah, go are... ahead. Do your thing. All right. These are new and still sealed in shrink wrap. I wanted to open them because we've had it before where car parts were returned that somebody took the new ones and returned their old ones, which is a big no-no, but these ones are actually new, so that's nice to see. So these aren't Legos that I have next, but they are like an off-brand of Legos, and it's for the NFL. We have the New York Giants helmet that you can make, so that's pretty cool. I wish it was our team, Detroit Lions, but that's unfortunate. This is a New Balance shoebox. I'm going to see if it's actually shoes inside. Dun, 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 dun. They are shoes, and they've been used. They don't exactly look the cleanest on the bottom, but the rest of it looks pretty clean. Um... I'm gonna guess somebody just trialed them or something. Cause I mean, you can see it's, it's maybe you can't see, I don't know. It looks a little dirty, but they still left the like shoe thing inside. Yeah, they cared enough to put that back. So I'm gonna guess somebody used them on like one run or something like that and just didn't like them. 
Uh, this next thing, I don't really know what it is. It says Mocha Pot. Um, Rumia or Trumia. Uh, it's a really nice box. So let's take a quick peek at what's actually inside the box. That's what we got. Looks pretty nice. Looks like a French press. Um, I don't quite think it was used. It looks a little dirty, but it doesn't look used. So it's kind of a, a weird combination. Hmm. Uh, this is a little camping light by Coast. Uh, nights, six nights of light it says it can provide. So pretty cool. All right. This is the Ferminator vacuum accessory. Uh, box is pretty crushed, but it looks pretty clean just from first glance. Uh, let's go for this mystery looking box. It says Lucky Brand. Am I gonna get lucky? Let's see. Sarah, you're gonna know more about these than me. Those are Lucky Brand wedges. They look to be, I would say, brand new. Um, size seven and a half. That is way too small for my feet. Uh, but they're just a nice, cute little pair of wedges. Is that a expensive brand? A... I'd say middle of the road brand. Right. I'm not overly familiar with them. I don't think they're going to be like designer shoes, if that's what you mean. But they're a nice brand. It says handle set with Shelby lever. Single cylinder in satin nickel. No idea what that means. Let's find out. This looks like a little toy, uh, like plush boom box for a young one. Ah, okay. So this is a um, front door handle. You can see a thumb lever right here. So this would be on the outside of your door, and then this is the handle that you would see on the inside of the door. So um, I would say it looks brand new, and it's actually a very nice looking door handle. I've seen a lot more of these uh, in recent years, so nice. Like these are replacement keys for a keyboard, but they're like... gonna be wrong but different language for your keys oh crap well we fumbled it and dropped a couple of them here but it looks brand new it's basically pieces of a keyboard to swap out um, some of them are pretty cool the space bar has some pretty cool art to it so that's really neat oh here's something for you Jeremy you know. uh, you'll know what that is more than I do I don't know anything about these, but <laughs> um, it's Bakugan. Looks like there's supposed to be some cards or something in here, but everything is all over the place. This one will be an interesting sell for sure. This is Silk Reflections Silky Shear. Hey. Oh, what's this random box? I want this mystery box. Gray Bestas, the best in breaks. Oh, great, more cards. I'm not going to pull that out. We can hear it. Car parts. This is a big mystery box. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, Whoa! Cole Han is the brand. Uh, they look to be brand new, aside from them rattling around in the box. The treads look nice and clean. Uh, these are... Fancy enough shoes that don't say the size in the bottom, so I'm not sure what size hmm. they are. I don't feel like digging for it right now, um, but they're men's shoes. I guess there is one tiny little nick in the leather right here where you can see it's kind of discolored, um, but that's just a, such a minor tiny spot. Eh, I guess there's some more scuffs on the front. Um, my guess is because they weren't packaged very well in this box, but overall they're very nice shoes. And if you think about it, when they're on your feet way down there, you're not gonna see these tiny little nicks. So still a nice pair of shoes. Alright, we got a Mr. Coffee. This is actually decently heavy. The 
It is in fact in there. Uh, looks, it's not full of coffee, is it? No, it looks super <laughs> clean. Still has the cardboard over the outlet, so that's a pretty good indicator that someone didn't even touch this. Another package of Beano to go with the Brent, the package Jeremy opened earlier, or that he found earlier. To prevent that gas. This is Clean Grind. Improve the performance of your coffee grinder by removing stale coffee residue and oil buildup. Which could go good with the coffee. And it's still sealed, look at that, brand new. Alright. Whoa! Fumble. This is a personal microderm. Clinical grade exfoliation with vacuum suction. <laughs> this is door monkey. Easiest to install, easiest to operate, door lock and pinch guard. You can see it kind of helps hold the door open there a little bit. That way the door doesn't slam on any uh, kid's fingers. Uh, we got Matrix Bio... Biolage? Biolage? Ultra Hydra Source uh, Shampoo. Balayage. Balayage! <laughs> bon voyage. What do you think that means, Jeremy? Biology, I don't know. It's a way of coloring your hair from light to dark. Oh, well that's why I don't know. I don't have any hair. I don't dye my hair, so... What's your excuse again? I don't have no hair. <laughs> Quit making fun of me! <laughs> this is Scratch Bright, the silver scratch book uh, that gleams and glistens. So, this I believe is black paper that you scratch and then you see the silver behind it. Uh, so very messy. And... The only thing that I guess I could see would be maybe wrong with this is that there's no binding. They're all like single sheets. Um, but otherwise it looks to be new, I think. So, pretty cool. Uh, these might be some more shoes. It says Cloud Steppers by Clarks. Clarks is an expensive brand. Okay. These do not look warm. Yeah, Clark's is a nice brand. There you go. I got some Clark's. Uh, I don't know what size. Probably size on the box. Uh, they are size 11 men's. That's my size. Uh, this is a crock pot. Aside from being dusty from shipping, it looks like nobody's even bothered to take it out of the package. So, a little tiny crock pot. Three M claw drywall picture hangers. Oh, three. I don't know what's in here, but this is a very elaborate paper. You can kind of see it's like a textured design. Elements. So we in fact have picture hangers. Not that... Oh, it is. Her wings fell off. Dang it, Mommy. You can see one of her wings broke off. Otherwise, she's really cute looking. Well, take the other wing off and it was never there. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how it works. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got some Wrangler Authentics. Uh, 36 by 30 pants. Uh, here's some cables. USB 2.0 A male to B male cable. Interesting. This is a pink unicorn plush. Very cute, very cuddly, very soft. Nice furry tail. 
Very soft. And it's got tags on it still. All right, the last time I opened up something that looked like this, it ended up being really bad. So I hope luck is on our side this time. And this doesn't end up being something really out there. This is like wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. So that's why it's taking me a minute. What else you got? This is, uh, it says fly bar. It's supposed to, so this thing's supposed to be inflated and it goes on both sides, right? So you can kind of hug it with your feet on both, on one side and like use it to bounce. It comes with this little air pump. So one of two things, either it just got deflated and needs to be repumped and it's fine. Or this has been popped and all this is good for is an air pump. One of those two things. All right, what we got here is a thermometer. There's still so many things in this box. This one was really loaded. This is a eye mask, or an eye mask, I should say. Hot or cold treatment. So if you're having a migraine, pop this baby in the freezer and put it on your eyes, and maybe I'll help your migraine. I don't know. Balayage? Balayage. Balayage! Matrix balayage, this time, <laughs> conditioner. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> this is red, white, and blue swim trunks. It's pretty cool swim trunks. They almost kind of look like fireworks. Uh, here we got a whole bunch of Energizer batteries. Are they it, rechargeables? No. No? Oh, okay. So we can use those. It says that there's supposed to be 24 of those. Um, but this one, they're just everywhere. Why in the world would someone return these batteries? Hopefully they're actually good. We do have a tester. So, uh, actually, let's test a couple of them here on the channel. Go for it. Let's see. While he's grabbing the battery tester, I'm going to test out a couple of those. I'll check out some more items. This is a finger pulse oximeter. So you can use that to check uh, your pulse. And because it's an oximeter, I'm going to guess it also checks your oxygen levels? Question mark? I don't really know. The word ox is in there. Mm -hmm. uh, determine your SpO2 and pulse rate. So, I think so. Well, the first battery that I checked shows that it's awesome. Uh, I bumped it, hold on. <laughs> Cause it, as soon as I showed it, it went to not awesome. Here you go. All right, this next item is skincare UV daily broad spectrum SPF 40. Uh, oh, moisturizing facial sunscreen. That's what it is. I was trying to determine if it was makeup or just sunscreen, but I think it's just um, basically lotion sunscreen. Mystery box? It's heavy. Goodness gracious, it is heavy. Ooh, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. The tape says video streaming and movies and TV shows. That might be just advertising Amazon Prime, though. This is a kid's vest. Has a tag on it still. Very nice soft material. Looks like it's a handle. Oh, it's a handle for a pocket door. Handle for a pocket door. I think. Don't know what a pocket door is. Well, no, it wouldn't be a handle for a pocket door. JK. Because a, a pocket door goes into the wall, so the handle has to be on the inside, but I didn't realize yours shows a handle on the outside, too. Um, it could be a handle for, like, think of, like, those new industrial barn doors, maybe, so you want a nice beefy handle on one side, but you don't really want a handle on the other side. We got two of them. Because it slides to the wall. So I would say you'd probably use this for one of those new barn doors. That's what I would use for anyway. This is a Wix filter. Oh, 
Boy, when I say filter, I didn't expect this. It looks like it's clean. Still so many items in this box. Holy cow. Dermablend Professional Leg and Body Makeup. Buildable Liquid Body Foundation Sunscreen. This is iPhone screen protectors. Not as exciting. Oh, this is a heavy box. R Ravint? Ravint thing? Sure. I'm not Where sure. Where do I go with it? This is cabinet hardware. Cabinet hardware. This is an Amazon Essentials dress. Oh, it looked like it had pockets, but I guess it does not. No, it does. It does. There's pockets right here. Po dress with pockets. Am I right? Got the tags on this one still, too. Sure. I almost wonder, with as many clothes as we get, especially these Amazon Essential ones, if they're from that Try It Before You Buy It program, where you're allowed to return it if you don't like it. Maybe. Because a lot of these clothes are brand new. Uh, this is for replacing uh, cabinet pull handles. I'm just going to keep grabbing at the clothes here because we've got quite a few different clothes to look at. Uh, this is Gloria Vanderbilt. I believe one of our past boxes had jeans by this person. Uh, this one actually has tags on it though, so that's nice. This is also the Amanda brand, or the Amanda line of it. Yeah, we've had that before. Um, but this one is a little bit different because they are pull-on pants. You can see Amanda pull-on um, versus the other one I believe had a traditional zipper. Uh, we got a Germ Guardian brand. It's a filter, apparently. Size B. Don't really know what that goes to. These are big and tall pants. Uh, size 56-32 from Van Heusen. You can see right there on that tag, that white tag, MSRP of $75. Ooh. So... Nice pair of pants right there. I got an Amazon Essentials camouflage um, shirt. Might be more than just a shirt. Let's see. This is a pair of Hagger dress pants. Classic fit. Size 34.29. Oh, it's a sweatshirt. Yeah, look at both of ours. They kind of match. Look at mine first. Look at mine first. Mm. I mean, this has like a little a white marking right there. Maybe that's why it was returned. Could be. Mine's got a big old rip in it. That's a rip? That's a oh, rip. Oh, yeah, that's a rip. That's, yeah. That's the style these days, don't you know? <laughs> Not in pants like this. <laughs> oh, more clothing. Gildan. We've had this brand before. These are Hue brand uh, socks. They're like the no-show kind of socks for if you're wearing flats. Uh, looks like a three-pack. Uh, Two-pack of 2XL shirts. This is what looks like two packs, six pairs each, of PEDS, which I guess is just the brand of socks, question mark. One side's unopened, the other side you can see was opened, um, so they're not as nicely folded. I'm going to guess somebody just tried it on and didn't like how it fit on their foot. Looks like one side's white and one side's gray. My next one is from the Children's Place. This is for the youngins. That's an itty bitty pair. This is more of the Gildan Hammer shirts of the 2XL size. Looks like two of them, I believe. This is a little Christmassy. It's got penguins and Santa Claus. This is a bra. So we got a 
onesie of Santa Claus. Is the styrofoam all over it? Something. Packing stuff. We got a Santa Claus one. And we also have this other one that has Santa, reindeer, and penguins. That's cute. Can you guys see the brand on that shirt? It's French Toast brand. French Toast? Who would have thought? Sounds delish. It says RVCA. Whoa! I don't know what this is. It's a medium. It's a bathing suit, isn't it? Feels nice. The balance of opposites. It says 3PC BKF, so probably part of a three piece bikini set? I'm gonna guess, yeah, it's bikini bottoms. It's where SpongeBob lives. Bikini bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was the last item. Uh, for this box, it was jam-packed with quite a few things. We had some pretty cool things like the mousetrap game. That's what excited me. Um, it's always cool to see stuff in the coffins that we recognize. Because um, usually, like I'd say most of the stuff, we've never seen before. But uh, we do our research, and then we see how well we do uh, with the selling part of it. Always an adventure. Definitely. We, if, once again, if you're new to this stuff, we've had things, you know, all across the spectrum. We've had boxes that had, um, you know, video games in it. Classic video games that were like worth a hundred bucks. Uh, just to name one of them was a Silent Hill for PS1. We got one of those in one of these boxes. Completely random, you know. Um, we have video games, movies. Lego sets. Lego sets. It is very common for us to get Lego sets. Lots uh, of car parts. Yeah, yeah that, that's not one of our favorites, though. Um, but to yeah. Toys, clothes, housewares, kitchen items, uh, little kitchen appliances, all kinds of stuff. We've had quite a few items that we've kept. Not just, we don't just sell everything. Um, I remember one particular piece was a Beauty and the Beast uh, snow globe, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, so check out the videos in the playlist. There's a wide variety of stuff that we've opened up from these boxes. And yeah, just keep following along with us if you enjoy them. And the way you can make sure that you are notified when these all drop is by turning on those notifications. Remember, watch out for them on Tuesdays. This type of video just kind of found its niche right there on Tuesdays. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, drops a like if you like this video, and also drops a comment letting us know which item from this group you thought was the most random. Which one do you think is the most random that we got? Ooh, today? Yeah, today. I'm gonna go with... I gotta think about what we got. I'm gonna go with the biology shampoo and conditioner. I'm going to go with the little sleep mask that's uh, hot or cold. I never would have thought to have an eye mask like that. Yeah, and I picked the one just because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.